COVID hospitalizations in Colorado could fall below 400 this week for the first time since early October. It's a promising sign as the state's vaccination program continues to expand. 686,000 Coloradans have received at least one dose. That's about 11% of our population here. Another 308,000 have received both of their doses. While scheduling a vaccine can still be a struggle, more clinics are popping up. There's a new one in Aurora that is now offering walk-up appointments, but there is a catch. Jeff Todd joins us from Aurora tonight to explain more. And Jeff, this clinic is only serving one zip code. Karen, the doctor who founded the clinic here is desperate to serve these underserved minority communities. He's so desperate that he went out in the frigid temperatures yesterday to walk the neighborhood to try and spread the word that he has vaccine. He just needs people to take it. Now, instead of a supply issue, we have a demand issue. And so that's our job to figure out what's going on there. There are signs all over the Mango House offering the vaccine. We serve only refugees and asylees, except right now doing coronavirus shots. We're opening up also to our surrounding neighborhood, which is 80010, the poorest zip code in the metro area. And the residents of 80010 are the only people Dr. PJ Parmar will give a shot to. I know it's a loaded issue, but we're trying to proactively help a community here that's got the short end of the stick here with coronavirus. Dr. Parmar uh, says the clinic is seeing only about 40 people come in for the vaccine each day. He's not really sure why numbers aren't higher. It could be the current age restrictions or high case rates throughout the pandemic. Some of them may be already fatigued by the whole thing or they think, What's, what does it matter? Everybody we know has had it anyway. Dr. Parmar is hoping vaccinations will increase when the next phase takes hold and frontline workers become eligible. I'm hoping to make that difference in the community. That's part of my job is to try to keep working into those communities and seeing how can I increase that acceptance rate. And I may not be successful, but hey, this is the game that I enjoy. Dr. Parmar told us that he had an 81 year old man come to the clinic the other day just to make sure this was a legitimate operation. They offered that man a shot, but he still walked away saying that he didn't want it, showing that these statewide efforts to try and get the vaccine into these underserved communities may be more difficult than some people thought. We're live in Aurora tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Looks that way. Jeff, thank you.